Looks like Christmas came early. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Thunderbite29 here. And yep, I am back today with another video. A video I was not expecting to make so soon. As now Chapter 3 Season 1 has officially came out today. Even though it's supposed to be coming out a few days after the event, but it's here now. And today, this is my overall review of what do I think of Chapter 3 Season 1. So, without further ado, let's begin, shall we? Let's start with the Battle Pass trailer. And my overall review of the Battle Pass, I don't really like it. I'm not that impressed with the Battle Pass, mainly because of the fact that there's not one crossover, not two crossovers, there's three crossovers, which there's one, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, which I'm not surprised because of the event. Number two, Spider-Man, which finally comes out after years of online conspiracy theories from the Fortnite community, most popularly using Spider-Man for clickbait thumbnails. And third of all, Gears of War, which that was completely unnecessary. And a lot of the skins are trash, and there's not really much good about the Battle Pass. They don't really have many good skins, but there's at least one or two that I like. But enough talking about that. Let's jump right into the gameplay, the most important part of this video. The gameplay is not too bad, and the map is actually pretty decent. I like the fact that they brought back Shifty Shafts and Greasy Grove from the Chapter 1 map. I'm very glad to see those finally return. I'm glad to see those quad bikes finally make a return as well. Thankfully, they're not unlimited fuel and they're actually used by fuel this time. But the confusing and the bad stuff is what you're about to see in a second. Which, you're going to notice, this game is completely different. Like, this does not feel like the same game that I've been playing for the last four years. The normal AR that's been in the game for four years is pretty much gone. It's pretty much gone for the first time ever in the game's history that the normal AR is officially gone. The bolt action sniper, the semi-auto, semi-automatic snipers, all gone. And now it's replaced by a three-shot bolt action sniper. Which I kind of like too. I kind of like that change up too. And that's something we should have seen in the game a long time ago. The normal pump, the normal tack, the charge shotgun, the combat, all gone. And now they're replaced by completely different shotguns now. And all the SMGs are gone. Yep, I'm pretty sure you get the point. That this game is completely different. And it's completely refreshed and revitalized. But it's completely different. Like... In a way that we've never seen it before. Or a way that we've never expected to see it. And another thing that I noticed is that they're completely recycling mechanics from previous games. Most notably first person shooters like the tents for example. You can store your weapon in there and you can use it in another game. Kind of like what you, we saw in Black Ops 2 Zombies. You pack a bunch of weapon and you can store it in a locker and you can, and you can use it in the next game. But now check this out. This is the most craziest thing that I have seen. Just look at that. Hold on. Did you see that? Look at this. They completely added a red dot sight to the game. A red dot sight. Holy crap. This by far was the most unexpected thing I have ever thought Epic Games would ever do. I really don't know the best way to describe this. This is Fortnite has basically become Call of Duty on steroids. I have never seen any AR in Fortnite fire this fast other than the one assault rifle that we had seen in the middle of the last season. I mean, just look how fast this thing fires. It can be difficult at first to hit your target, but when you learn how to control the recoil, then this gun is basically a laser. But the real question is, what do I think is bad about the season? Which I'm going to jump right into right now. Which, number one, I did not like the Battle Pass or the crossovers that much. As you know, I've been a big hater of crossovers because how 
extremely common they became. But one of them I do understand. Number two, some of the items. Like, I did not like the fact that they got rid of launch pads again. And I do not like the new pump shotgun because it fires so much slower than the normal pump shotgun that we've known for years. I do like the, um, the concept that we have a new sniper that fires three rounds and it's bolt action, which I think should have been put in the game a long time ago. But I don't like the damage rate that it does. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but is most of your shots getting like only 90 damage? And on my 90 damage shots have only have been upper body shots. And I just don't like the fact that they got rid of pretty much nearly every single gun that we've known in this game for years. Like, it would have been nice to see at least two or three of the old guns that we've known in this game for years. I would have at least loved to see at least a few of them so it would actually feel like I'm playing Fortnite and not some other game. And they brought back those iron walls that you just saw in that clip, which I've barely seen anybody use, which I hope a lot of people don't, by the way. Because those things are pretty annoying as hell. And the another thing I don't like about the season, number three, the connection at the start of the season. Of course, I don't think this was Epic Games' fault because once one person got into the game and realized, holy crap, Epic Games released the season early. And then the news spread like wildfire across the gaming community. I mean, I can just imagine so many people trying to get into the game and it's causing so much connection problems. Like, it took me at least 20 minutes to get into the game. I've had to restart my game three times before I could finally play. And I've never had that difficulty when a new season came out. I never really had that problem until now. But in conclusion, this has to be one of the most confusing seasons I've ever played. Like, I think the season was good, and I think it's bad at the same time. I don't really know how to describe the season. Like I said... I think this season is Call of Duty on steroids because they've added in so many mechanics that were basically from first-person shooters like Call of Duty, like the Red Dot Sight and the tents where you can store your weapon, as I mentioned earlier. And another thing I forgot to mention, sliding. Sliding is also one of my deepest concerns. I'm worried there's going to be more people sliding than there are build fighting. Sliding has been one of the most overused mechanics in Call of Duty for almost a decade now, and now it's in Fortnite. And I did not like the fact that they got rid of pretty much every single gun that we have known for years and completely replaced them with completely different guns. But at the same time, I'm happy with the fact that they brought back some of the OG locations. And if it was not for that, this game would not be Fortnite anymore. I still think they should at least kept a few OG weapons or at least brought back a few weapons like the burst assault rifle that we haven't seen in forever. Like I would have loved to see something like that return. Like, they could have did that instead of just simply replacing everything. Like, that's just the one thing I really did not like. But the one thing I have to give Epic Games huge respect for is that they did all this in less than 24 hours. But what would I rank this season? Well, as of now, it's hard to say. It's because they had some good stuff and they had some flaws. But they didn't have as many flaws as they had before. So honestly, I think I'd give this season at least a 5 or a 6 out of 10. But if I did a tier maker list today, I probably would put this at least a C or a B. The season is not good, but it's not bad either. But what are your guys' thoughts on Chapter 3 Season 1? Tell me in the comment section. I would love to hear your thoughts. Like this video and subscribe if you agree. And thank you all so much for watching. And thank you all for the great support during those last 3 days. I really appreciate all the love and support. And thank you all so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more content. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video. And this is Thunderbite29, signing off.